The art of the puppet show has a long tradition in Eastern Europe. The rolling puppet theater from Panabejis is known throughout Lithuania. In the northern Lithuanian city, the season ends before the summer vacation, but before the break, the puppeteers tour the rest of the country. Director Antanas Markukis founded the theater in 1986. His traveling puppet theater was long unique in Europe. The annual summer tour purposely goes to remote parts of the country. We want people to experience theater. So we bring culture to the villages. We don't only want to entertain. We come knocking on the doors of children in remote regions who would otherwise never have the chance to visit a theater. And then they're off. The tour is taking them clear through the east of the Baltic country, around 550 kilometers in total. Every day is tightly timed. Two villages, two performances. It was only a few years ago that a tractor was transformed into a locomotive to pull the theater wagon. It's such a shame that we can no longer go on tour with the horses the way we used to. Those animals really symbolize our theater. But the route is very hilly this year, up and down all the time. That would just be too hard on the horses. The theater was known for a long time as the Rolling Puppet Company with two horses. For the first tours at the end of the 1980s, when Lithuania still belonged to the Soviet Union, no cars were available to them. 60 kilometers from Panevejis, the theater reaches the first villages where it has previously not visited. Behind the scenes, the tension is rising. The show will demand a lot from the performers. Vlad Moskovye is one of the new puppeteers. But we don't have any stress or anything, there's just over-ambitiousness. There's a lot of time pressure between the acts. If you're too slow, your companions are already on stage waiting for you, so you have to rush, and sometimes you get bruised. In the show wagon, everything has its place. Masha Patakova checks the puppets. I'm checking the puppets to make sure nothing has been damaged during the journey, that no strings are broken or tangled up. That way we can just take them on stage with no problems. The audience doesn't notice one bit of the hustle and bustle going on behind the scenes. The crowd favorite is a weightlifter played by Vlad Moskovye. But that's not his only role. Now I have to hurry and dress up in black because I'm about to play the seal. His seal act is one of the show's highlights. We really loved it. It was so funny. We don't often get to see something like that. It was great. The interesting thing is that maybe one child, or possibly even several children, enjoyed it here so much that they may want to carry on the theatre tradition later. That's the best arts education you could ask for, isn't it? And so the troupe continues on to the next of its 45 shows on this tour.